I'll keep it very brief. It's atmospheric. It's beautiful. It's qualifying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and, um, and I'm, I'm very happy for Joey Howe to finally get to Eurovision. Yeah. Ah, okay. So um, I've got quite a bit more to say about this. Uh, like, like, I'm not going to poo-poo this, but I'm just like, kind of like... I'm not feeling it as much as a lot of fans seem to do. Like, it's a very nice song and um, it's got a nice melody and everything. But I don't know. I just I just kind of feel like it's a bit of an also ran of what Ukraine have been sending in the last few years. Like, it's kind of like they mashed their two most recent winners together into one song. But not as interesting as either of those two in my opinion at least um like and as you said it's 100 percent qualifying because this new ukrainian diaspora that um we've gotten with what's been going on the last couple of years like they're gonna go in hard for this song so like got no worries about its chances um i do want to discuss like uh, because I've seen some fans going on like, oh, this is going to win. This, da, 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 da. I'm, and it's still pretty high up in the odds. Like, I think it's number... F- I think it's gone down to number four now because um, uh, a certain song from Semi 2 has gone up to second now, which is quite interesting. Uh, we'll have to wait, like, another two episodes to discuss that one. <laughs> um, uh, but, like... <sighs> I'm I'm sorry, like, I'm not really seeing what these people are seeing. Like, as I said, uh, are the casuals at home going to think, like, we've heard this before, but not as good, like, kind of thing? And, like, I just... Maybe with the Eurovision staging, I will be won over, but I'm just not seeing anything particularly special with this one and uh i i don't i don't know um i mean it's it's definitely qualifying as i just said and it's probably gonna be top 10 in the final but like winning like i i don't know why these people are thinking that i'm just not seeing it at all maybe it's just me because i've got a bit of a blind spot for ukraine like a bit i i don't i'm just not seeing anything right now sorry i mean i see what i see where you're coming from i mean I, that was going to be my uh follow-up point that i i do see a lot of people calling this a surefire winner and i don't agree with that um although it, you know it could happen but i don't think it's a done deal certainly um you know it's good it's it's a it's of a, a, a quality that we've come to expect from ukraine 